as or uses social media. I can't see your faces right now, but I am 99% sure all of you do. You know the feeling when you have made a mistake using Instagram or Facebook, perhaps writing a typo in a discussion. Well, imagine that feeling a thousand times worse. I am the community manager of a diving company here in Mexico. One day, I decided to post a photo of a free diver with some eagle rays. At that time, I knew nothing about marine biology or diving or whatsoever. And I made the atrocious mistake of putting in the caption manta, which is a similar but a way much bigger animal, instead of ray. Well, almost immediately I had a bunch of angry divers commenting on the post things such as How on earth can someone mistake a ray with a manta? Or he doesn't know nothing about marine biology. Obviously this was not positive feedback and certainly not the kind of feedback I was looking for. People can sometimes be really cruel on the internet. I felt embarrassed, ashamed, it was terrible. That night, I had a really hard time going to sleep. <laughs> My account usually has an average of 2,000 likes. That post, the day after, received 8,300 likes. It was not a coincidence. A normal post usually gets 10 comments. That one had more than 60. When Instagram notices that many people comment on the post, the algorithm detects it as positive engagement. So it's Instagram thinks that people are enjoying your content and viralizes it by putting it on the Explore page, a page for people that are not your followers to view the post. If what I did was beneficial or prejudicial for the brand, it's debatable. But I learned that day that captions matter. People actually pay attention to the photo's captions. Language matters. The fact is, there is no other period in human history in which language has evolved so quickly than what it is happening right now in the digital era. With the internet, not only new words have been created, but new ways to communicate have emerged. Specifically, I, I mean the use of emojis, memes, and slang terms. More than ever, Companies have the ability to increase brand reputation and customer loyalty through all the language variations that the internet has created. In other words, the internet has opened an infinite, infinite number of ways in which a company can connect and provide solutions to all people. First of all, let me tell you. Emojis play a crucial role in the world of digital marketing. Those little images change the ways human com humans communicate with each other forever. According to the majority of experts, including the New York Times, between 70 to 90% of human communication is non-verbal. In communicating, the delivery should match the body language and facial expressions being given. For example, the words thank you or adorable denote a positive meaning. However, when I say them with a negative facial expression, the word will connote a negative meaning. For example, thank you or adorable. You see, that's the power of non-verbal communication. Nonverbal communication is only possible when we are seeing someone speak either in person or in a Zoom call. Well, actually there is another way. That is when emojis enter the game. Emojis will cover the necessity for nonverbal communication in the digital world. So let's get back to our life prior to the pandemic, in which we made much more physical interactions with people. If we wanted to buy a new pair of running shoes, we would go to the mall and a nice lo looking young man would show us the models that best suits our needs. As a salesperson would explain the advantages of some model, 
He would have a white smile and nod in a persuasive manner for us to buy the shoes. His facial expressions and mannerisms would convince us more than what he was actually saying. Right now, in the middle of a pandemic in which most of the time we spend is online and that in which most of our human interactions are done through a computer, emojis can satisfy that need. In fact, emojis can bring an Instagram caption to a whole new level. For example, here I have the same caption, just that the right one has emojis. In the first image, the caption sounds as an order, as something mandatory. However, when those emojis are added, the caption acquires the desired connotation. With emojis, community managers are able to trigger the desired emotional response in the audience. Right now, with two little drawings, I was able to show and sell shark diving as a fun and relaxing activity. What I am saying is don't be afraid to use emojis. Far are those times in which a company needs to appear serious or solemn. If the internet has given us the alternatives for facial language, use them. More than ever, emojis are relevant. Language matters. Secondly, memes are a phenomenon in language that are very effective, not just in making people laugh, but to communicate deeper ideas that might bond a company with its customer. What I am speaking about are not those cringy memes that some companies post on their social media that openly promote their products or services with an outdated meme format. In reality, memes have the power to change public opinion because they sell ideas. When companies use this strategy, they are not trying to sell a product or service. They are selling an idea that will eventually make us want their product or service. For example, in Mexico, a video about a cashier working in a Noxo. Oxos are these convenience stores that are literally in every corner of the, of the country. And well, the cashier was making a hilarious face when the customer asked him for a product. The thing is that the video went viral and hundreds if not thousands of memes were made with the boy's face, not only in Mexico, in all Latin America. Later on, Oxo released as an official statement saying that the cashier is not an actual employee and that disciplinary actions have been taken against the store manager that let a kid record videos inside the store. And here comes the part in which memes connect the brand with its customer. What Burger King did was hire the 12 year old, his name is Elias, to be the protagonist of their new marketing campaign. The official account of Burger King in Costa Rica, which on average their videos have somewhere between 2000 likes, uploaded the video of Elias with his delightful face eating a hamburger. And well, the stats speak for themselves. The video got more than 800,000 likes on a couple of days after its release. That is the power of memes. The thing is that Burger King wasn't promoting the hamburgers as usually it is done, with a picture of a perfectly grilled sizzling meat over a virtually impeccable bun. No, what Burger King did and was promoting is the idea that Burger King is a fun and flexible brand that has no problem at all with being part of the meme culture. Being part of the meme culture means being able to connect with younger audiences through memes, establish emotional connections with people from Gen Z. Remember, memes have the power to unite people with companies. Memes is language. Language matters. Actually, another way to connect a brand with a young audience is with the use of slang words. Over the past 
20 years, thousands of new words have been created, derived from the use of internet to communicate. When a community manager correctly uses these words, this will serve as a bridge to connect younger audiences, because it is important to remember that words are bridges. Words connect people. Words are important. Language matters. For example, the Mercedes Formula One Instagram account, the captions they post, they use a great amount of slang words and new terms. This does not only make it appealing to younger generations, but it follows the marketing principle of renewal. This principle states that a brand must always be under constant change and in the latest trend. So in fact, using slang words is more than just looking cool, but it strengthens the brand's reputation and may locate the brand as the most trendy, the brand that it is always ahead of its competitors. The thing is that captions are important. Despite the fact they only represent 10% of the actual post, words matter. Language matters. With the tremendous variety of language variations that the internet has created, more than ever, a company can reach more people than ever before. A physical store has its limitations. Perhaps a couple hundred people will enter per day. However, when a company has online presence, they are able to use these language variations as a bridge towards their customers. And that makes them capable of reaching thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people per day. At the end of the day, language will always be changing. In fact, the Oxford Dictionary calculates that an average of 14 new words are created every day on the internet. Companies must embrace this incredibly fast pace. There is a me famous Mexican proverb that says, Camarón que se duerme, se lo lleva la corriente. This literally translates to, Sleeping shrimp is carried away by the current. In other words, brands should not only use these new forms of language to avoid being left behind in the trend, but brands should see emojis memes and slang terms as an opportunity to connect with your clients. Language is like a brick. It can either divide and build walls or build a bridge and unify people, communities, even countries. Now, the thing is, go out there and make your company reach your customers in which that have no precedent in history. <laughs>